When playing a hero capable of pickoffs, if your kit includes a disable, you can use that disable to secure otherwise impossible kills. Let's elaborate. I am playing Storm and I see a potential target, Naga Siren. Now usually, the way Storm engages is ultimate, auto attack, vortex, auto attack, remnant, auto attack, and then finish the target off with zipped right clicks. This deals the most damage and often can kill or seriously wound a target before he is able to respond. However, I am fully aware that Naga has her ultimate, so if I approach her with my usual spell rotation, she's just going to press ult the first 3 seconds she gets. This is why most players are unlikely to target Naga for solo pickoffs. However, against heroes who have the tools to disengage or turn the fight, we can create an advantage by playing some mind games. Let the fun begin! When caught by a surprise ambush, a player's first response is usually to run to the general direction of safety, be it the player's team or the base. Only after the split second, when the player assesses the situation, will he make a new decision how to proceed. If I have opened my attack with the usual vortex combo, disabled Naga would react naturally. See that she's low on health, can't fight, there isn't enough time for her team to come to help, and she will ult as the last resort. However, because I've used my surprise factor to throw in a remnant and an auto attack, I've dealt extra damage while my target was operating just by the instinct. And after the surprise factor wears off, Naga stops for a brief second, realizes that she's dangerously low, and casting ultimate is the correct play. And only then do I play my disable, thus securing me the kill. Let the fun begin. <laughs> Similar strategies can be applied with Budge, Void, Cling, Sneaks, and other heroes. Good luck.